Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. This is part two of how to create a caricature from a photo. In part one, we've separated and labeled each part onto their own layers using layer masks. Since each person has unique facial characteristics, the specific manipulations that I do for my subject won't necessarily apply for your subject. Use the techniques in this tutorial as a general guide. We'll begin with the hair and forehead. Scroll down your layers panel and make your bottom layer with the layer mask active. Alt click or option click on the eyeball icon to hide all the other layers and shift click on the layer mask to hide it as well. Open your brush tool and with white as the foreground color, brush over the hair and forehead. Shift click back on the layer mask to unhide it and Alt click or Option click back on the same eyeball icon to make all the layers visible again. Scroll to the top of the layers panel and make the hair and forehead layer active. We'll warp that shape by pressing Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. To see more of your subject, zoom out by pressing Ctrl or Command and the minus key on your keyboard. Click the Warp Transform icon and proceed to drag anchor points and sections into a shape that exaggerates that particular feature of your subject. When you're happy with it, click the check mark at the top. To remove any areas of the hair from the original image, scroll down, make the same background layer active, and brush over those areas. In this example, I want to make my subject's glasses much larger, and since the glasses will be in front of the hair and forehead, I'll place the hair and forehead layer below the glasses layer in the layers panel. In this example, there are three layers that comprise the glasses, the right lens, the left lens, and the entire glasses. In order to ensure that the size and position of all these layers will be the same, I'll make all of them active. To do this, I'll make the top layer active, and shift-click the glasses layer to make all three layers active. I'll open my transform tool, go to a corner, and when I see a diagonal double arrow, I'll press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as I drag the transform out. To reposition it, I'll go inside the transform and drag it. Then I'll press Enter or Return twice. Next, I want to enlarge and reposition each eye inside the glasses. I'll click the thumbnail of the right lens to make just that layer active and click the chain link icon to unlink the layer and the layer mask. Doing this allows me to resize and reposition the layer and the layer mask independently of the other. In this case, I want to keep the layer mask in position and just enlarge the eye which is being revealed through the layer mask. I'll open my transform tool. To see the entire transform, I'll zoom out again. I'll enlarge the eye and reposition it. Then, I'll press Enter or Return twice. I'll repeat these steps for the other eye, and then I'll fit the document back onto my canvas. Next, we'll distort the mouth. I'll make the mouth layers active, and open my Transform tool to resize and reposition them. Then, press Enter or Return. Next, I'll make the teeth and gums larger inside the mouth. I'll make the layer active that has the layer mask of the inside of the mouth and unlink it to its layer mask. I'll open my transform tool and zoom out. Then, I'll resize and position the teeth and gums. Next, I'll elongate the jaw. 
I'll scroll down my Layers panel and make the Jaw layer active. I'll open my Transform tool and click the Warp Transform icon. As before, I'll push and pull the anchor points and grid to elongate the jaw and align it with the contour of the rest of the face. Next, I'll do the neck and shoulders. I'll make that layer active and open my Transform tool. I'll go to the middle side of the Transform and when I see a horizontal double arrow, I'll press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as I drag it in. To remove the original neck and shoulders that's showing behind it, I'll make the background layer with the layer mask active, make my brush bigger, and brush over the original neck and shoulders to remove it. Next, I'll retouch some distracting areas of my caricature, like the sides of the glasses. First, I'll fit my image back onto the canvas. I'll scroll up and make the layer mask of the glasses active. I'll adjust my brush size and brush over the sides of the glasses. After you complete your caricature, you can finesse it by first making a composite snapshot. To do this, Make the top visible layer active and press Control Shift Alt E on Windows or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Retouch areas using various tools like the Brush Tool, Clone Stamp Tool, and the Spot Healing Brush. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.